All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, thanks for coming. We've got a full house this week. I'm really glad to see all these uh, faces in the audience. It is an incredibly good time to be working on Linux these days. You know, Linux is now either the fastest growing or the number one in market share in every single category of computing. Embedded systems, mobile devices, cloud computing, enterprise server market, everything. Now you might say, wait a second here, what about the desktop? Yeah. Right? <laughs> you Linux guys, you won't give up on that one, right? But, but let me tell you something funny. The year of the Linux desktop came and went and we did not even notice it. But here's who did notice it. Goldman Sachs, one of the most venerable banking, whatever you think of the banking industry, they're a big shot. <laughs> Goldman Sachs now looks at the client PC market, the, the, the client market, as mobile devices, smartphones, tablets, and PCs combined. That's the new desktop, from, according to one of the most venerable investment banks in the world. And in that market, Linux is number one. When you look across all those things and the number of devices, Linux is number one. So it's number one in embedded systems, number one in mobile, number one in the client, number one in cloud computing, all of these categories. What a great time to be working on Linux. And one of the reasons it's number one is because it has this broad, broad support across so many different architectures and devices. You know, nobody wants to build anything these days without Linux because you can grab all sorts of components and create something really, really interesting. And one of the organizations that is really enabling a lot of that is an organization that the Linux Foundation loves to work with, and that's Lenaro. Lenaro is doing incredible work unifying a lot of the engineering resources and development efforts that are going on in the ARM SOC community and making a lot of changes and improvements to the Linux kernel and to all of the different technology that really makes Linux great and provides the building blocks for so many cool things that so many different organizations are making. They have 150 engineers working across you know, dozens of countries really doing incredible work enabling focused development in the ARM community, or not only in the kernel, but also in things like the enterprise space where they work with companies like Red Hat and IBM and Hewlett Packard to create better ARM support there. And they're announcing a new initiative today that I think all of you will be interested in. And so with that, I would like to introduce the CEO of Lenaro, George Gray. George, come on. Thanks very much, everybody. I hope you can hear me. Um, I'm going to tell you a very brief description of what uh, Lenaro does and, and then talk a little bit about some of the segments that we're now involved in. But at first, I wanted to go back and look a couple of years ago and try to come up with a graphic that would describe kind of the ARM SOC community. And of course, I needed a lot of penguins, and I'm told that. Um, a collection of penguins is called a waddle. So uh, if we can get the slides going. There is a waddle of penguins. Um, and it really was a bit like that. Uh, in fact, a lot like that. There was kind of one Linux implementation, one Linux kernel per vendor. There are a lot of ARM SOC vendors. And in some cases, it was even worse. Every vendor had their own clock drivers, their own I squared C drivers, their own GPIO, their own, you get the message, power management, even kernel memory management, not just simple things, but complex things. Every vendor created their own version because, well, they could. This is Linux. And if you think about it, this is not value adding. This is, this is differentiation that doesn't value add. In fact, Fragmentation of core software is a really bad idea. You get multiple patch sets. You get tough upstreaming. It's very difficult to upstream because there are lots of different implementations, and the maintainers understandably don't like that. You get conflicts. Um, as a result, you have high maintenance costs, wasted resources, and delays to products. So not ideal. Lenaro was formed just over two years ago, and it was formed as a place for particularly the ARM vendors to collaborate 
to try and work together to resolve some of these fragmentation issues. And we're an <coughs> open source software engineering company. We're basically a big shared software engineering resource uh, funded by our members and we deliver upstream. So everything that Lenaro does is delivered upstream for the benefit of the community. And we work together on core software and enabling the companies that work with Lenaro to spend less resources on the core kernel and more on their key differentiation, their own value add. And we're a work in progress. Um, there's still a lot to do, and it's an exciting time for all of us. I think um, we've made dramatic improvements, and we've helped the community make dramatic improvements to support for ARM in the Linux kernel. And we've made a lot of contributions, ourselves and our members. Um, we've achieved a number of things uh, with the help of the community, including setting up the ARM SOC tree, implementing device tree on ARM, um, bringing the community together to define the universe, uh, unified memory management um, as a scheme for handling the shared memory architecture that, that the ARM architecture gives us, and going a long way to enabling SOC vendors to work on a single kernel image across multiple, uh, multiple different SOCs and indeed multiple different vendors. And Lenaro and the Lenaro um, assignees from, from all of our members are now a major contributor um, to the Linux kernel and to other open source projects. Together, the ARM community is very big. It's a very strong force. There are a lot of companies working together and competing to deliver new functionality on ARM SOCs. And of course, historically, this has come from the mobile space where low power was very important. But increasingly, when you start thinking about cloud computing, data centers, networking equipment, power is getting to be a significant issue in all aspects of computing. And uh, ARM is very well suited to a lot of these heavy embedded tasks. And ARM's business model drives innovation. Startups, big companies can create new products for new markets around a common architectural core. Of course, from a Linux point of view, we want them to use one kernel, and we want them to differentiate around that. So we're in a period where I think we're going to look back in a few years and say there was a huge disruption that occurred. The old way of doing things is not, is not working. It doesn't scale. Um, there are two and a half exabytes, that's one with 18 zeros, uh, of data created every day at the moment. And that number is growing exponentially. There's a huge amount of data being created, the big data phenomenon. And the, this is only going to, to continue to grow with the Internet of Things, um, as everything that you carry around with you, everything in your house becomes connected to the Internet. If you think about mobile and the increase of bandwidth and the lower cost, you think of HDTV and then 4K TVs and handling those wirelessly over the internet, um, networking, servers, the, the whole industry is currently being disrupted. And if we don't keep up, we're going to hit the limitations of, of scale. So in my view, I think that SOCs, not only ARM SOCs, but SOCs in general, this, this ability to put more and more onto a piece of silicon, bring down the power consumption, increase the interconnect, um, and open source software are the agents of change that are really going to help us get through this period of industry disruption. So what Lenaro is doing is basically all these different ARM vendors who are competing ferociously in the market come together and work together on core, non-differentiating software that everybody needs. So rather than everybody going and implementing all their changes in the Linux kernel, why don't we just do this once, create interfaces, reduce fragmentation, share the cost of doing it, and that's what Lenaro is for. And so at the end of last year, we uh, went further than the mobile space where we started and created the Lenaro Enterprise Group. Um, this was announced in November. And what we're doing is working on core open source software for ARM servers. So basically, uh, as ARM gets more and more attention in the server space, 
Um, we are looking at all of the architectural specific aspects of the lamp stack and beyond and the kernel and the boot architecture and we're making sure that open source software is ready not only for the first generation of ARM servers based on today's 32-bit technology but also the next generation based on 64-bit technology. And the goal here is to reduce cost, eliminate fragmentation, do it right the first time and accelerate the time to market for products. And this enables the vendors to focus on their own innovation and their own differentiation, their own value add. Every one of you who's working with, the, with ARM architecture has the ability to create SOCs that cater for different price points, different market segments, um, have their, your own proprietary IP built around it, um, and can enable huge innovation in this market. And if you look at some of the companies involved, they're a mixture of SOC vendors who are committed to this market, distributions including Red Hat and uh, Canonical, and end users including Facebook uh, and HP, and I'm sure there will be others. But today, what I'd also like to announce is that we've gone one step further and we're announcing today the Lenaro Networking Group, which is doing a similar thing but focusing on the next generation of networking equipment. And ARM SOCs are starting to penetrate this market um, and therefore there are some specific needs of this market that a group of companies is coming together to work on to again share the cost of, of making sure this is the best possible software for this new hardware model. And what we're doing is um, leveraging the existing model that we have in Lenaro, and we're delivering software for the next generation of low power network equipment hardware that covers everything from routers to switches to advanced telecoms equipment, um, cloud-based networking engines and so on. And there are some specific needs of this market um, including real-time support, um, some spe special requirements around virtualization, uh, of course, multi-core SOC power management. Uh, yesterday, I noticed that one of the members of this group has introduced a 16-core A15 um, product for the networking equipment market, um, so power management becomes increasingly important and is, of course, one of the main reasons why um, people are looking at these new SOCs to drive down power consumption. And creating standard interfaces to proprietary technology that exists in this market around accelerators to handle the, the huge amounts of data that are going through these pieces of equipment. So the networking group, um, the founders, there are 12 companies, um, three who are being rather coy about their participation at the moment, um, but the ones that you see uh, have announced that they are uh, founding members of uh, the Lenaro Networking Group and will be working with these companies and others who've expressed an interest in this market uh, to develop the next generation of software based on Linux, specifically used in networking equipment. So we're pretty excited about that. Um, Finally, I'd like to say that the experience of the last two years, I, I come from a, um, a more proprietary background in terms of software development. Working with the Linux community over the last couple of years has been an amazing experience, and it wouldn't be possible without all of you. What we're doing in Lenaro is we're helping various companies come together to accelerate the rate of change of, of making <coughs> Linux better for the new pieces of equipment and the new products that all of the companies involved are developing. And it's a very exciting time, as Jim says, to be part of this community. And what Lenaro is doing is helping these companies come together and work on core common software, and we're doing that with the community. We couldn't do it without you. So we're very excited to be working with the Linux Foundation, and our goal is to create open source software for multiple vendor SOCs by sharing the development of core non-differentiating functionality that enables everybody to build bigger products better, faster. And our goal is to end up with, with just one Linux, not lots of them. So the waddle of penguins has come down in the final slide to the goal of having a single penguin. Thank you very much, and I hope you have a really good time at ELC.